my name is Katherine Gannon, and this summer I worked on a project titled Carbon Negative, Development of a Unit-Level Approach to Assess Greenhouse Gas Emissions, with my mentors Shelley McKegg of Office of Physical Plant and Ronald Roscoe and Timothy White of College of Earth and Mineral Sciences. So as the consequences of climate change continue to worsen from increasing amounts of greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere, there is enhanced pressure on large organizations like universities to take responsibility for their greenhouse gas emissions and work to reduce their carbon footprint. While any action to reduce one's carbon footprint is of course beneficial, not all um, carbon emissions reduction strategies are equal depending on what sources contribute to an organization's um, carbon footprint. That is why it's crucial for large organizations to take the time to identify the sources of their greenhouse gas emissions and the sizes of those sources so they understand what the most efficient and effective approach to reducing their greenhouse gas emissions would be. So Penn State has already done a good job of identifying their sources of emissions through creating a, an annual university-wide greenhouse gas inventory. But the issue with this is its broad scope does not allow for individual units to understand their portion of the university-wide inventory. Um, and, and this is critical because in order to increase accountability, those smaller units have to understand how their actions influence the university as a whole. So that's why this summer the College of Earth and Mineral Sciences asked me to create a greenhouse gas inventory for just their college. And I looked at their building utility usage as well as their transportation emissions and calculated how much carbon dioxide they emit from those sources each year so they can better understand which sources have the greatest influence on their carbon footprint and what um, sustainability practices they should put in place to better manage their greenhouse gas emissions. So I will be talking more about the methodology of um, this approach in my lightning talk, and I hope I can see you there. Thank you so much.